Hey guys, so um, just kind of doing a bit of a update video right here. Uh, obviously, you see my shaved my head, so uh, I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. Um, kind of just a quick work update. So right now, I, I am en route for Jerupa Valley, Calif uh, California, which I'm excited about. I don't necessarily like working in California just because it's it's always a hectic pain in the butt to have to deal with the traffic and everything else and the regulations in the state but I'm used to working it so it's relatively easy for me and plus it's the route getting to and from it is is an easy route very scenic so you know I, I really like the route so it it's easy money for me fast money so <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not having to deal with anything in the deep south again or anything way up northeast like before um but as far as that goes, I mean, I'm going to keep doing that till like around the first week of October or the last week of September. And uh, that's when I'm going to be getting out. Um, beyond that, not nothing really too much is going on. Um, as far as my life goes, on the other hand, it's a bit different. So uh, just kind of to get that taken care of right now, the reason why I shaved my head. So there are a couple reasons why. The first, the main thing is, is I have this really weird hair problem. So, um, for the first time I shaved my head bald, which I mean, if you saw some of my earlier videos, you'll see me with really the buzz cut like this. Um, a, a lot of that had to do with, uh, my hair was falling out quite a bit. Now for, at, for a while I was researching it and I was like, okay, well, is it male, male hair, hair pattern baldness? Well, it wasn't because with men, uh, the the baldness usually kicks in right here on the hairline which for me my my hairline hasn't receded at all it's been staying at the same spot for like the past i don't know 30 years or so i'm almost 30 so i'm just saying 30 um where it was falling out at was back here on the crown um so for a while i mean i had long hair but that had this weird bald sound like semi bald spot right there so um What's kind of, and it's, it's just kind of a weird thing with my hair where it's like, it, it'll grow in, but because of how fine and like, kind of like delicate, I guess you could say it is, it's easy for it to get yanked out a lot and, uh, you know, fall out if I'm doing a lot of physical activities and whatnot. So for me, what I'm just doing now is just, I shaved it all off, um, and with the intent to grow it back a bit more. Once it gets, once there's a bit more length to it again, I'm going to go ahead and just start doing like a, I don't know like maybe like a regular military haircut or something like that just because it's when it gets long it looks good but it's easy to, to fall out or get yanked out of so it's just it's a weird problem I've had to deal with for a long time um, uh, a couple other things too one uh, I'm losing weight again so um, I was able to get a little uh, 12 volt electric cooler put into the truck so um, I'm able to keep some food uh, or meal prep food in the truck, which in turn means I can actually go back on my diet. So uh, one of the main reasons why I'm dieting is uh, because I'm trying to compete again. Uh, for when I competed first, the first time I was at the middle weight around 185 or so, and now I'm trying to get down to 170. So, um, so far, I've, you know, I've lost quite a bit. Uh, I was at maybe 190 last week starting when I started back on the diet um, now I'm at 183 or I weighed myself in at 183 this morning so we're gonna just go from there um, you know and it's it's working pretty well uh, just kind of the consistent thing I need to do is just keep up with my training and you know stay really disciplined with my diet and with my uh, you know sometimes I get cravings for stuff like that so I'm like all right well you know let me see if there's like a, a healthier alternative to what I'm craving so that way it doesn't really cause me any negative problems um one other thing too is uh i recently signed up for or i signed up for an amateur promotion i don't know if i got accepted in yet so it's just it's kind of up in the air right now if if, if it comes through cool you know we you know we might have a fight later this year um if it doesn't then we'll probably just go ahead and have another amateur competition uh at you know one of the jiu-jitsu tournaments or something like that that's you know going on in town so um either way i want to compete again i want to you know get back into the game again 
uh, I'm I got a good amount saved up right now I just need to work um, especially the next two months because it's um, for majority of July I didn't work a whole lot for like the first half it was just like me sitting whether it was just due to the holiday or with the, the breakdown I had um, I just didn't make a whole lot of money throughout July um, this time around though it's like okay well I have all of August and all of September to try and maximize as much money as I can and get everything saved up so that way first you know first week of October I get out and then we hit the gym and get back onto our regularly scheduled training to where we're sweating literally a gallon of water a day um, but you know that's that's just about it um, if you like the content please like and subscribe uh, ring the bell for notifications you know to see when I'm uploading again um, I'm planning on I, I've been saying it for a while just because it's like I'm I have like some pre-recorded footage that I'm gonna have to re-record again because you know the hair thing but um, for the most part I want to make better quality videos like things that are actually edited with you know some transitions and um, you know with intros and outros like the the older videos that I have uh, it's just you know trying to find a good quality video editing program which I'm honestly just gonna go 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 ahead with uh, Adobe Premiere um, I've used the, the the mobile versions before for some other projects I've done in the past so uh, it's I, th I think it's efficient I mean yeah you have to pay for a subscription but I mean it's it's better than what I, what I have right now like with I don't know what's going on with the Magic Movie Pro but for some reason every single time I export a video out it's virtually unreadable like the QuickTime player won't read it um, I can't upload any video onto YouTube it's it still edits but I mean again it's like once it's exported you can't watch it and it just it didn't make any sense to me I tried another program which was like a free program but when I downloaded it and uploaded a video to try like test out some uh, you know see how the editing program worked the highest frame it was 60 FPS like it was just so bad it looked like an old Nokia phone so um, you know so we'll, we'll we'll try and see if we can do something new with that um, but yeah so that's about it